What's up, timekeepers? Me, Tom Gamer here, bringing you Until Dawn. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be finally starting Until Dawn. I've been waiting for this game for a while. I wanted to buy it a while ago, but I've finally it came out free for PlayStation Plus, so I'm going to be trying it. Hopefully I'll be able to do a full playthrough of it. I don't know how long it is. I know it's got... Uh, it's like one of those sleeper, very good games. Uh, all the choices is, is yours to make. Like if you can, you have to try to make everybody live or everybody dies or some people win, some people lose, stuff like that. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the game. So let's go. Fantastic, man. Thank you for asking. Just starting the game off. So all right. thank you for the host, man. Really appreciate it. All right, let the stories begin. Dun, dun. So far, so good. We're starting in a dark cabin. Always good. Of course. on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Looks cold in that cabinet. In that cabin. Cabinet? Great, that's always a good idea. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Mike. Yeah, touch touching a candle yeah. to a wooden door is always good. Hey Hannah. That's not good. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. That sucks, man. Oh, no, I'm moving now. Okay. Hello. Woo. All right, let's keep going. Oh, so weird. There's not a... I can't move the camera. No. The game controls my destiny. That's not cool. Hello? Can you wake up? Jeez, this reminds me of, uh... Use to look around. Okay. What's this shiny little thing here? A note. Of some kind. Uh... Jesus Christ, am I... Okay. Hannah, look. You look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even better out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Oh, Jesus Christ. Such a weird control scheme, though. All right, Jeremiah Craig. All right. Jeez, Josh. <sighs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. I got your note. Glad you could make it. Gonna be bad. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out, and see where it goes from there. Kind of awkward, no? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I can't look? Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. Oh, good to hear, man. Hey, it's all good. Just a stupid prank. 
Uh. Damn. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! That's not a good prank to play on your friend. What? Uh, damn it. Josh! Josh! Fuck! Guys! There's someone outside! Oh. What the hell? Whole fucking place is abandoned or something? Or? Oh. Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han! Yeah, what a good, good prank to play on just someone. around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, shit! Oh, okay. I'll get used to these controls. They're a bit weird. Okay. Let's go to safe route. Let's not jump to conclusions here. <laughs> See what I did there? Jump to conclusions? <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Uh, let's follow the footprints. A story is like a... Um, uh, it's just a cabin type thing. It's a horror game. People stuck in a cabin and then there's a bloody murderer and you have to try to make most of the people survive, I guess. Fuck, shit. Go, Beth, go. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Did I choose the right way? Okie dokie. What am I looking for here? Hannah! Such a weird control scheme. Oh, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. Walk faster, okay. Not a. I don't mind them. They're fun to play. There's a fire over there. Let's go. Hannah. I hear voices in the distance. What the fuck is that? Yeah, let's 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 walk faster. There she is. Is that a chainsaw? Oh dear God! No. Let's go. Let's go farther into the woods. Ah, damn it! Well, we're fucked. Oh, of course. It controls a bit weird. Hold on. Hold on. Don't let go. Oh, dear God. Damn it. Oh great, we're both dead. 
Well, that was a bad choice. It's a very bad choice, actually. But. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond yeah. our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate right. and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. Uh, this is significant. I have four for 14 now minutes now. You see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? <laughs> All right, let's, let's, uh... All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. All right. All right. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Make me feel happy. There's nothing scary about it. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Jesus Christ, complicated questions you got here. It's peaceful, I guess. Oh. <laughs> uh, you okay that's there? Interesting. <laughs> that's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here, all by yourself? Sure, I guess. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage... That's a cottage? ...was haunted? Uh, I'd probably be scared. Oh, what lies beyond the... Veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Oh, I'm sorry we're out of time for this session. We'll talk again very soon. Okay. I guess so. Bye, doctor, I guess. Now, are you real or are you just a figment of my imagination? Which one is it? I'm not sure. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Okay. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. Uh, one year ago tonight, Riley games are fine. They're not the... the it's not my first choice of games. Into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Hmm. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. That yeah, sounds like a good idea. With their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Oh, it's the uh, Mr. All Robot right. guy. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! 
<laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that uh, I know yeah, Mr. Robot was a good. Uh, so much to Hannah and Beth. Yeah, Mr. Robot was a good series. I I haven't watched the second season yet. Them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For for the sake of my sisters and you know. Okay, so let's. Party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this right. one trip we will never forget, alright? Yes! <laughs> cool. Time to party! Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. Ten hours? Jesus Christ, that's gonna take forever. Alright. Ooh, I'm in control now. Maybe. Okay. Give me a minute. I just got here. Please, don't don't kill me right now. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Considerate, adventurous, diligent. Alright. Always Hello? dark, yeah. <laughs> Path to cable car station. Alright, let's move. Let's move a little faster than we... Alright, just make my way. Hello, my name is Sam. I'm the considerate one. Oh, what? The gate's busted. Climb over, Chris. Oh, really? Do it. Does she look like someone that climbs? Climb up. Uh, let's climb it safe. Let's climb up slow. I'm assuming if I miss, she falls and she dies already, then the game's over already. It's a bit it's a bit of both I would I would say. Quickly now, quickly. Uh when they don't move icon is on screen, keep wireless controller as still as possible. That was easy, I just put the controller on my legs and it doesn't move. <laughs> All right, Sam. If you're unsure what's next, you can see your current objective by pressing R1. Oh, okay. All right, haste makes wait. Haste makes wait. So let's go. Oh, there's a plaque here. Indigenous people and butterfly perfect tribe who once lived in this mountain believed that butterflies hair dream and periphery per prophecies of possible future the color of the buff indicates the nature of the prophecy death black butterfly probably death danger loss guidance fortune okay, Is that something that's gonna pop up in my screen? I'm gonna have to do quick thinking or something here As an explorer you can discover totem artifact is that how you write artifacts? I'm not sure. Picking up a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly. Doki. And the magic butterfly is.
died in Snowdom. The future is uncertain. Whether or not prophecy comes true depends on the choice you make. God damn it. But that's the way the game like shows me a glimpse of things that could happen. To view totem collection, okay. The path is beyond our what does it say here? The path is beyond our control. All, all, all right. That's not reassuring. God damn it. Nothing's easy in this game. I just climb on oh no, the windows. There's a window here. Oh, there's a bag. Oh. Uh, Not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, let's just close the bag here. I'm not a snooper. What if I fuck players when the action have changed narrative of the game? Hmm. Chris. Sam, hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Protective, humorous, methodical. All right, good to know. Good to know. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. Why not? For yourself. Come on, it's this way. Oh man. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. All right, let's keep going, then. Chris, you're like walking too fast. Ta -da. Ooh, a shooting range. Red, right? Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. Yeah, can you not like point Chris that at me? Because you really not right. point that at me? <laughs> uh, no, you go ahead. Cable car. Oh, my. I'm playing right. as Chris now. Here goes. Oh, boy. Am I a marksman? Kadoosh! I played video games before, I'm good at it, don't worry about that. Doink! Yeah, exactly. Wow, nice shooting tits. Alright, I'm bad. Oh boy, bad. please. Please I'm don't. Gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Not, I don't think so, girl. Kadoosh. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, look, the little squirrel. No problem. Uh, is the squirrel gonna eat it? Uh, <laughs> uh, she's gonna hate me if I do this. It's so tempting. What? That poor little guy was alive about 10 seconds ago. Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh my God, cut his neck. Give it away. <laughs> Jesus, are, are you okay? Oh, this mountain is freaking oh, out Oh, maybe this is one of the points if I haven't killed... Hey, hey, look. Our, our if I hadn't killed the, uh, the squirrel, the bird might have grabbed the squirrel, maybe. Hmm... We're thinking, we're thinking. Oh, there's a sign here. Wanted. Blue found wanted poster. Man, it's definitely, it's definitely weird coming back up. Victor here. Milgram hide blah 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 blah. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? It's like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. To keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. 
So I have the key. After you. Oh, real gentleman. <laughs> the game looks nice though, I have to say. The only thing I find weird is like there's like just a bit of control for the look around, but that's about it. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is Blackwood Pine Hotel and Sanatorium? Big mountain. For a healthy body and mind. Isn't a Santa what a crazy place to set up house? I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. All right. They only bought a mountain. That's a creepy camera to have there. All right, the car is here. All right, bye, Sam. Finally, you coming? I'm already in there. Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. And does the car? Just like going to the prom. Yes, there, man. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, and I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> all right. You know what? Let's just. Let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Hey, that's a good plan, I guess. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. Nerd. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. Ooh, we interesting story. To this day. <laughs> a match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Makes sense. Boom. Butterfly effect. I can still be talking alone right now and just push you out of the car, you know, and then... I don't know, I might be the murderer, who knows? <laughs> Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Uh, confident, trusting, irrever irreverent. Okay. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh, hello! Oh, what the fuck? What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? All right. Is that really necessary? What happens if I didn't uh, didn't do it? Oh my God! I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have Chris. here? Chris. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. I guess I can just say it. Mike and M split. We're together. Oh, drama. Not really. 
pretty clear cut, actually. And oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Out, I'm in. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. Okay. <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow! Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this the first part of Until Dawn. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. That was a really fun part. If you liked the video, of course, like the video and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate that. And, of course, you can follow me everywhere, Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash MeTimeGamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So, thanks so much, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next video. Keep on keeping on.